Hello there everybody, it is me Fizzer Bunny, and welcome back to episode 7 of the Sims 4 Vampires mini-series. So, our plasma fruit trees just grew, so that's pretty cool. Um, hopefully we are secured and no longer to starve for blood. Um, not really, but yeah, it's not like we're actually starving, cause- Oh, he's still here! I could have sworn I asked him to leave, yeah, like, yeah. I could have sworn I asked him to leave. Layton, I don't know what he's doing, but um, I realized that we've been neglecting some of our things right here. So let's make sure to um, just water that and take care of everything. Uh, okay. Oh, are, where are they fighting? Uh, okay, so yeah. I feel like it's time to move on from Marcus. I mean, you know, we've been friends with him. Uh, when we first went into kind of a relationship with him, we kind of knew that it we didn't want it to last, if that makes any sense. So, um, yes. Uh, who, who passed? Who died? That's really weird. Um, <laughs> I was like, who the freaking heck died? Okay, she needs to go out jogging really quickly before the sun rises. And you need to um, repair this. And also get rid of this trash. We do have some gremlins, so... Uh, that's probably why, like, all of this weird stuff is happening right now. Um, yeah. Oh, crap. Before Marcus left, I could have asked him to just be friends, but okay, whatever. Um, how, how far does he have to go until he levels up? Uh, yep. He needs to, uh, read a little bit more, I think. He needs to read a little bit more the vampire lore. By the way, vampire lore, I was really surprised actually that um, the Sims learn it quite fast. So um, yeah, I'm very surprised. Oh crap, does Daphne have work today? Oh yeah, she has work today. So let's make sure that we take care of her all her needs. All right, Daphne, you you you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Okay, play a game of Some Sims Forever. I know you're hungry, but just, just please play a game. Play a game. Okay, just pee first. Then play a game. And then, I mean, Layton is feeling miserable, so just throw that away. Oh, you know what? And also, like, scavenge for parts and just throw that away as well. Why is she crying? Who died? I really don't know who died. Okay, so I mean, let's order some new tomes. Uh, let's see here. Order. Oh, actually, Vampire Secrets. Purchase tome and Encyclopedia Vampirica Volume 2. And, you know, she can read it at her leisure and see what we can actually learn from it. And then Layton needs to read this as well. And while they're doing that, I want Daphne to, um, yeah. Did she finish her? Yeah, she finished her work requirements. So that's pretty cool. All right. This is okay. She is having fun, which is which is good. And I'm just keeping an eye on her because I don't want her to go to work feeling miserable. So, so yeah. And let's speed things up here a little bit. I think seven, I will let her stop. And then she needs to talk to someone really quick. So just chat up with her. Lavinia really hasn't been talking to Daphne whatsoever. So I think this would be a great time for them to kind of like... Um, you know, to kind of socialize, I guess. Ask her about her day. And ask about vampire history. 
Oh. Ooh. Interesting. So we're learning some things. The section says some vampires are guilty about having fed on Sims and do everything they can to avoid it. That's true. That That's our brother. Leighton read that some vampires have been observed turning into bats. I mean, we can do that already. Uh, brighten her day. Just... Oh, the game cancelled out all of my interactions, so... Friendly and um, complain about problems. Okay, Lavinia discovered a new social. That's very interesting. Alright. Oh, this is so cute. Look at them just chatting it up. Hopefully this gives them that moodlet. Ask her about her career. Um, and get to know her, pretty much. I mean, I don't think we have that much time until our work starts, but whatever. And Leighton, what is he doing? Okay, just, just read that, please. Okay, read that. I'm forcing you to read it. And she left. Okay, I guess her social is quite enough. And I guess that Lavinia needs to stop. Why does she like keep compelling him for a small drink? This is really weird. I feel like that interaction is stuck on her. So I will reset her. Uh, hopefully, she, yeah, there we go. She's been reset. Uh, okay. Yeah, she has been reset, so that's pretty cool. And I don't know what else she should be doing right now. Just, um, we're gonna invite Marcus over. And we're just gonna... Tell him that we're just going to be friends, pretty much. Oh crap, she needs to like hurry up and eat her food. How long did it take her to prepare that? Girl. Okay, I was hoping that she would be in a good mood, but I mean she might be hungry when she gets to work, but... Yeah, at least she's she's eaten. <laughs> you know, she she's just mildly hungry, if that makes any sense. Invite him inside. Oh no! Just go to work. Yeah, there we go. Uh, more choices. And um, let's see here. Friendly. And um, ask him about his day. Let's do some small talk with him first. And then, oh, she's not even interacting. She's not even interested. And let's see here. Vampire. Friendly. Um, just ask him about his day. Just stop complaining. Sheesh. Okay, and hug him. And ask him to just be friends. Oh, this is actually kind of painful. Okay, hopefully um, he doesn't take it too bad. Okay, he was like, okay, cool. That's cool with me. A gossip and... Um, let's see here. I want to hug him. There we go. And then you can ask him to leave. <laughs> Get out of my life. <laughs> Okay, so we've got some stuff here. That's pretty cool. And there is a flea market. That's pretty awesome. I mean, it is the daytime though, so... I wonder what's gonna happen here. Um, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Obviously, we cannot... <laughs> we cannot... I mean, I really want to go. Should we go? Ugh. Should we go visit one of the many displays to put your own treasures? Uh, I really want to go. Trade your stuff. Um, 
Uh, no. No, we're not. Uh, I really wanted to go, but I mean, we're probably gonna die if we did if we did that because it's a little bit risky to send the Sims uh out during the day, so I don't want them to die on me. So we're just gonna save that experience for my um get to get I mean city living playthrough. So yeah. Lavinia needs to give him, like, a packet of this freaking plasma thing. And there we go. Drink from that. And, yeah. Alright, so it looks like he gained something. I don't know why, but he might have reached a milestone. Oh, drink a plasma pack. Uh, make five friends and don't drink deeply for five days in a row. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, did we, did we reach a milestone? Um, yep, I think we did. Regained humanity. We need more friends. <laughs> All right, so he is, he needs some social. So, I mean, he and he also needs to sleep by the way because i want them to have that sleeping habit so i'm gonna send them to sleep and i will be back when the sims are awake okay guys all right so lavinia just woke up and it looks like she's texting someone so uh is she texting marcus she might um i actually want her to i don't know what i want her to do but um she needs to read the freaking vampire thing and she also needs to train her brother a little bit more. Ooh. Uh, oh yeah, she's not high enough rank. So she needs to read this. And maybe we'll discover something more. Uh, we also need to share our freaking plasma packs. I wish I can just give her a specific amount and I didn't have to drag everything. Because you guys can see that it's it's pretty, it's pretty like wonky. This whole situation, like this whole interface, is pretty wonky. So, yeah. I mean, uh, and just read your book. Oh my gosh, she is laughing at herself. <laughs> really creepy. <laughs> oh, it looks like he improved his vampire thing. Yes. Okay. Cool beans. He is now a freaking one level higher than he used to be. So, yeah. So, since he's now a minor vampire, I'm not sure what I want him to do. I want him to, uh, let's see here. Definitely the garlic immunity one. And, oh, uh, let's see here. Vampiric charm. We're just going to save his other powers for later. And we need to take one weakness. And it's definitely going to be the guilty drinker. Um, too much empathy for the prey means Satan will become stressed when drinking from unwilling prey. Cool beans. And how far does Lavinia have to go until she increases her level? It's a lot. <laughs> we still have a long way to go. So, yeah. She is reading her stuff. Leighton is catching up. And we can just, I guess, talk to Mortimer Goth here. And also talk to um, Bella Goth as well. And then I wonder if she can scour the internet for some more information on Vampire Secrets. Uh, oh, and she's uncomfortable. Oh, she she's hungry. Yay, Daphne is home and she brought home some stuff. Cool beans. What did she do? Uh, I mean, we did some great work, so that's pretty cool. We need to write some more books. And what else? We need to socialize with... Oh, we need to have fun. Okay, really quickly, you need to socialize with Lavinia. Just, just you know, ask for advice and complain about her problems and um, ask her about her favorite author. Just really talk to her pretty much. 
mean new play? <laughs> Trivia. And gossip, and also just get to know her as well. There we go. And then Leighton, his social is pretty much filled, so he's just gonna finish his dragon sculpture here. I feel like we really need to sell some of our stuff. Whoa, look at all those items. Oh, they're not getting along. Oh my. I guess that's what happens when you have two really strong-willed women. <laughs> they sometimes don't get along. And that's okay. That's just... That's just okay. I mean, that's... That's just their personalities clashing, so... Dragon Sculpture. Ooh, that's actually a lot smaller than I was expecting. Can we put it underneath? Von Flavius sells copies of the Encyclopedia of Empirica. If you search on a computer, you can find the shop, research long enough, and you may find a copy of the Ultimate Vampire Compendium. Interesting. Alright, so I think that both of their socials are pretty good, so let's go ahead and have them both um, research on the computer. And then she can just, I don't know, maybe she can write something. Uh, yep. There we go. She is gaining the vampire thing, and I'm not getting the notification that, um, yeah, I'm not getting the notification that she's learned everything she can on the computer, so that's pretty cool. Also, we need to follow up on our pen pals, so let's go ahead and go downstairs and see our pen pals, if we have any replies and stuff. I'll check for pen pal replies. Let's see here. Did anybody, like, send us any freaking postcards? I guess not. Okay, Lavinia has exhausted all information about vampires, so let's go ahead and have her reread that encyclopedia. I'm so sad that nobody's, like, sending us any, uh, any postcards. How sad. Okay, you know what? It's nighttime. You can go ahead and just take care of the plants here. Water that. And then um, water these as well. Uh, can he eat? I wonder if he can eat a plasma fruit. I'm pretty sure he can, so. Yeehaw! Looks like I've got a new pen pal from Appalooza Plains. That's awesome. Yay, okay, so we're gonna send a message to our pen pals. Uh, oh, it's really hard to manage the Sims. You know, especially if they have free will on, it's it's very overwhelming, but it's it's cool. Um, web, socialize, and ask a postcard from Dragon Valley, and ask another one from... Moonlight Falls, and then we're gonna send a message to, uh, write a letter to Barnacle Bay, and another letter to, uh, let's see here, write a le another letter to, uh, Appaloosa Plains, I think. There we go. Coffins keep out the sunlight. When closed, Lavinia can do something useful with a bit of that information. I mean, <laughs> give us some, something substantial, please. Okay, Leighton is pretty good. So, I mean, I think that... Uh, do we have any recipes? Recipe. <laughs> if you guys get that joke, I love you so much. Uh, but yeah, he's just gonna go ahead and just make some more sculptures. Let's make another horse one. And let's display this elephant over there. Looks like it's a, an elephant on the ball. <laughs> Reminds me of Dumbo. And yeah, Lavinia is in a good mood right now, so yep. Okay, you know what, you guys? I think this part has been long enough, so I am actually going to go ahead and wrap it up right here. Okay, guys? So, um, 
yeah uh you know what before i wrap this up i want to see uh okay so yeah once again we've learned some basic information i really don't know like oh yes we can finally harvest the freaking thing i'm so happy the system mosquito trap awesome yes uh i can't click on anything go here go here there we go i thought my game was like freaking having a seizure but yay look at this we're harvesting the mosquito trap and i need to take a picture of this so one second one second people it'll be all over soon what is that face <laughs> what is that face There we go. I don't really know, like, what this thing does, but I'm assuming it's, like, it's a new plant or it's, like, a new ingredient or something. I really don't know. Uh, what did we get from that? Uh, we got some six of mosquito trap seed. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if there's others that can be harvested. Okay, there's another one here. Fly here as a bat. And can we harvest that? Yep, we can. And of course, we're definitely going to be planting some for ourselves as well. Uh, and speaking of planting, let's go ahead and do that. Here, um, I want to move these guys a little bit, um, just a little bit backward. That works. And we need to plant our freaking mosquito traps. I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious that we are a bunch of vampires living in this place. So, hopefully, like, no vampire hunter comes to get us. I couldn't see the seed. There it goes. Plant that and also... If I put this in his inventory, will he be able to eat it, I wonder? Nope, he can only plant it, so... Yep, we're gonna go ahead and plant that as well, and... Yeah. I should have made him fly here, but... Where is Lavinia? Okay, she's having a bath. I mean, she probably learned quite a lot already. Uh, discovered plasma fruit recipes. Yes, Lavinia has learned that plasma fruit has some interesting uses in recipes. She can now prepare plasma fruit salad and the plasma chain drink. Uh, okay. She learned that frogs are available um, ingredient in making your own plasma pack. So that's pretty cool. Um, and I guess that Daphne kind of needs to sleep already. So. Yep, she is going to bed. Good girl. And yep, our plasma fruits are... Oh, our fly traps are properly planted. And let's just have him water them so that we don't have any problems. Do we even need to keep like a wolf spade? We're just going to keep it for, you know, for posterity. But you know what, you guys? I think this part has been long enough. So I am going to go ahead and wrap it up right here. We've done some really interesting things in this part as well. So I'm really looking forward to um, the next couple of parts where we get to see our vampires become more powerful. Okay, guys? So yeah, like I said, that is going to be it for this part. Once again, please don't forget to hit that like, favorite, and subscribe button because it really helps out a lot, okay? You all have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.